Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity and today I wanted to share with you how to make the scalloped rectangle in Silhouette Studio, this one that you see here. And um, once you learn how to do that, you could probably make a lot of different ones on your own of different sizes, different scallop, um, you know, smaller scallops or larger scallops whatever you decide to do and um, I get really excited about Silhouette Studio because the more I learn um, the more I like to share um, those skills with with others and that's kind of what my channel is all about so if you're new here I welcome you and I hope that you will um, you know stay around and um, watch some of the other videos that I have here um, some people might ask well what do you do with your silhouette machine or what do you do with silhouette studio and um, I have a photo here from one of my latest blog posts and so I wanted to start sharing some of that stuff this was one that I did where my husband and I had broke down some pallets and I had a lot of scraps in the scrap bucket and so I have a market coming up in um, a few weeks and I started making some Christmas ornaments that um, you know were kind of just fun to do and and um, you know they turned out kind of cute and I pinned them to Pinterest and they've kind of um, taken off and and gotten a lot of views and so it was just kind of a fun thing to to put together and so I've been making a few others and and um, you know we'll see how it goes but um, you know, it's just one idea that you can use um, your silhouette for. Um, the scalloped rectangle was kind of in response to a viewer's question about does it work the same as doing the scalloped circle? And I'll leave a card up above for the scalloped circle um, video if you want to watch that. But what it entails is drawing your larger circle and then dragging your smaller circle to it and kind of populating it around that and welding it all together so that you have that perfect scallop circle and the problem with the rectangle is is you you tend to not get an even distribution um, that way of the circles around the rectangle and so I wanted to share this way of doing the scalloped rectangle so if you're struggling with the scalloped rectangle and you want to make a really nice one for a card element or something I thought this way would maybe be a better way to try and then you know once you do this one um, you know see what you think and I, I think this is just a much more even way of making that um, scalloped rectangle than the way that you do the scalloped circle. So with that, we'll get started here. So I've kind of drawn myself a rectangle just for the purpose of, you know, a reference. And this is this is three inches by two inches, and so. Let's kind of zoom in here a little bit. We we'll use that zoom button up there. And um, so I just kind of labeled that so you can see that. And you can see that my rectangle that I created here, um, you know, fits nicely inside of there. And by the way, this is the center of rotation tool. If I click on this, that center of rotation is right there and I did a center of rotation video not too long ago and actually since I did that I kind of went to my help menu up here and I looked at some of the keyboard shortcuts for um, that center of rotation thing and it can get kind of annoying to people but if you just hit your O on your keyboard it disappears just like that so you know how cool is that and then if you want it back again you can just you know how fun okay so anyway I don't mean to get sidetracked but that was just a little trick that I learned and I wanted to share that too so um, anyway the first thing we're going to do for this is I'm going to grab my drawing tools here and I'm going to 
um, do an ellipse. I'm going to hold down my shift key so that I get a perfect circle here and I'm not going to worry about the size too much. I drag that out to a little over a half an inch but I want to go back to my scale tool. So transform scale tool let's lock that and go to 0.5 and you can hit enter and you don't really have to hit apply it already did it and so now I have a perfect circle here that is a half an inch and if you can think about math just a little bit for a second I know that can be hard people don't always like to think about math but um, if you think about math in this three inches and this is a half an inch you will have six of those and you can even count them here you'd have six of these going across so let's go to our our replicate panel and we're going to choose this middle option here and we want five copies for a total of six of this circle going across to the right and so I'm going to enter five you don't want to put six because that'll give you seven so we want to put five and we want to replicate to the right and now when I hit the replicate button I get I have six circles okay so we're going to leave that open because we're going to use it again but I'm going to go ahead and select all of these by dragging over them with my mouse and I'm going to go here to group selected shapes and I'm just going to group those that way none of these are going to get out of place I want to leave them right where they are at so now if we think mathematically again in this two inches down we're going to have four um, circles that are one half inch so we want three copies for a total of four and we're going to go down and we're going to replicate those and so now we have um, the basics of our scalloped rectangle so we're going to close out the replicate panel and you could group these if you want to I'm not going to I'm not going to move them anywhere but I'm going to just go over them and I'm going to go to my offset panel that's this star with the offset around it and I'm going to offset and that takes me here it has kind of a default distance here but I'm going to enter 0 0.02 and hit apply and that's going to take me really close to that um, outline of those circles and now I'm just going to move you can see I kind of if I would have grouped that that wouldn't have happened but it doesn't matter I've already used these I can actually get rid of them and now I have my circles that were offset and you can see I have the outline here but the problem is, is I have all these diamonds that are in the middle where it offset these circles. But if I go to right click, release compound path, that releases all of that. And now I can delete my diamonds and I'm left with my scalloped rectangle that is two inches by three inches or three inches by two inches however you want to say it and there you have it you can do that with um, you know a quarter inch circle you know then you'd have to do the math for um, that um, I tried to do it with like um, a lot smaller circles and it actually kind of froze up my my system for a few seconds and 
And so be careful with that a little bit, but um, it did actually end up working in the end. But uh, my computer is sort of old and slow, and so maybe you won't have that experience. But I wanted a little bit tighter, tighter scallop, and um, but it does work. And so you know, it's it's a technique that maybe it's not perfect, but it does work, and it does work in Silhouette Studio. And so now you have something that you can put um, on your card. So you know, if you're planning for a card, you might want to kind of do a little bit of a layout. Sometimes what I do is, you know, draw my card size out here on um, my mat um, with a rectangle. That's the size of the card that I want. And and then, you know, fit, try to fit these elements in, see how big I want them, and do kind of a mock layout or whatever. But that's that's the size of it. That's what... I did to create that scalloped rectangle and so I hope that helps I hope that answers the question about how to make the scalloped rectangle and I'm glad when you guys do have questions and comments because it helps me to know what people are thinking and what kinds of content to create for them where they're struggling where they want to learn new skills in their Silhouette Studio. So thanks for asking. I, I really appreciate that and I appreciate the comments that have been left and um, I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you if you want to um, see more Silhouette Studio tutorials and thanks for watching and you have a great day. Bye now!